What's up, y'all? It's 22nd of December. Five more days to the wedding. My mom is driving. She's going to do her facial. Alright, bye, have fun. Bye. Oh, bye. And now I'm going to get my hair cut. So this is the before shot. So that's Julian, he's my hairstylist and he has been cutting my hair for the past two years or so. Mm. Boom! I'm done. Good looking enough for the wedding. Well, since today is quite an uneventful day, I'll tribute to some videos from months earlier when we were preparing decorations for the venue as well as wedding invitations. So check it out! Hello people! We just came back from a bit of shopping in PJ Old Town at this place called Carrots Flowers and Carrie is now making corsages out of those flowers. So let's check in on Carrie, our resident uh, handcraft and arts and crafts specialist person thing. We have all the raw materials over here. So these are the stuff that we bought from Carrots Flowers. We have some filler flowers, whatever these are, and some tiny little roses. They are pink and purple in colour. And Kerry is tying them up uh, with leaves. Also, where do you get the leaves from? Also carrot flowers? Also from carrot flowers. And once she's done with tying those things up, she will wrap it with these uh, flower tape. And it will end up looking like this, which is actually quite pretty if you ask me. In addition to that, Kerry has also prepared her bouquet holder. It's uh, this thing over here. It's actually a kitchen roll uh, taped up with duct tape and then wrapped in lacy ribbon paper thingy which looks like this. So, here's how Carrie made the invites. First, she designed and printed the invites onto transparent paper. Then, she sticks the transparent paper onto cardstock using tape. Next, she covers the back of the invite with a doily. She folds it in. And then, she adds twine and ties a knot with it. For the final touches, add a tiny clothes pack, just because they're cute. And there you have it, how Carrie made the invites. Oh. 